Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by the last man standing with loserpool.com. As ever, I am your host, Harry Simeu, and I thought, well, I thought I was done for the day. Um, done a, a podcast earlier on talking about the Lauren Koscielny situation in the main. Um, sat down to enjoy my lunch. Scroll through Twitter, as you do, um, all the various news sites, etc. And what do I come across? I come across reports that Spurs are set to steal William Saliba from under Arsenal's noses. And I don't know how to react to this. I don't know whether to laugh or to cry because this is outrageous if it's true. If it is true that Spurs have outbid Arsenal after we've heard for weeks and weeks and weeks that the Saliba deal is done, that he'll be joining Arsenal and he'll be going back on loan to St Etienne for the season, then what on earth has gone wrong? What on earth has gone wrong? Why are we still dragging this deal on? Why are we still at the point where somebody can come in and steal him away from under our noses? Now, on the one hand, I'm never going to say I'm happy that we, we're going to lose out on a player or that we might lose out on a player. I have to stress, these are just reports. I don't know for sure. I'm just going by sort of what's doing the rounds. And from David Ornstein's tweet, which I'll quickly read to you actually before I crack on. Now, David Ornstein said, Negotiations between Arsenal, St Etienne and Saliba were in their final stages. Much of it already in the hands of lawyers to agree wording of contracts. But Tottenham have reignited their interest and are now pushing hard to get this deal completed. So it seems Tottenham have come back in to the mix for William Saliba. And that they've put in a bid that has been accepted by St Etienne, meaning that they can now speak to the player too. Um, and on the one hand, you know, I've been saying throughout the transfer window that I don't really agree with spending our entire transfer budget or a lot of our transfer budget, I should say, on a player that we're going to loan back to St Etienne for the season. Arsenal need players for the here and now. The here and now, not next season you know we, we haven't even got a defense for this season like we've just heard our captain you know probably our most experienced and best i would say when he's fit central defender and he wants out so we're in a, a real mess at the moment we need players to come in for the here and now so in that sense would i be overly upset if we didn't get saliba probably not but i would be upset if saliba went to spurs because the fact that spurs come in um suggests that this player has got potential he's got ability in that a lot of clubs have their eyes on him but you know whether it's a priority for Arsenal right now whether we can afford to be spending 30 odd million pounds on a center back that we're going to loan back it is not the point here the point is here that we're going head to head with a rival and sadly given the way things have been going these past few seasons Spurs brand new ground in the Champions League final last season, um, you know, building a really strong reputation for themselves around Europe, you feel as though they've got the upper hand in this. And that really pains me to say it. And it just shows that how far this club has fallen, the shambles that we are when it comes to transfer dealings, contract negotiations, you name it, we can't do it at the moment. And it's an absolute shambles and I'm getting really, really frustrated. Now, I don't normally rant. I normally sit and think about what I'm going to say. I try and see both sides of the argument. And whilst I've got to stress that these are just reports doing the rounds, they are reports that are coming from some people with pretty good reputations. There's quite a bit of weight behind these reports. And, you know, the very thought that we'll be losing out on one of our prime transfer targets this summer to a, a rival is really, really disappointing. And it just adds, doesn't it, to the frustration that we've experienced throughout this summer. We've heard that we're, we're going to get Zaha. What's going on with that? We obviously aren't going to meet Crystal Palace's valuation. Forget about it. We heard that we would have signed Kieran Tierney by now. That's not happened either. Now the William Saliba deal, the one deal that we thought was close to being concluded. Now we're hearing that another club have come in for him. And of all clubs, Spurs... And that they are pushing hard to get the deal completed. Now Spurs are probably in a much better financial state than us right now. Despite having built the stadium. Because they've not spent you know, money on useless players. They've invested wisely. They've not bought many players in. But the players they have bought, they've invested carefully. 
And now they're reaping the rewards for that. They've gone and spent 65 million on Ndombele. Now they look like they're going to get Saliba for 30 odd million. Spurs are reaping the rewards for their club being run properly over the last few years. Whereas Arsenal, who have been a complete and utter shambles, now find ourselves running scared that Tottenham are going to nick our prime transfer target. It's an absolute shambles. I'm absolutely furious. Um, and it spoiled my weekend before the weekend's even begun. I'm absolutely furious with it. And, you know, th there are so many issues at Arsenal Football Club at the moment. So many things that the supporters are unhappy about. You thought, you thought that they could just do this one thing, get this one deal over the line and show that they were looking towards the future and that we are able to go and get some of the hottest properties, hottest young properties in European football. But even here... We look like we fucked it up. We look like Spurs are going to steal him from under our noses. And if that happens, God help the Cronkies and uh, the uh, Arsenal leadership. Let me know what you think about this story that's doing the rounds uh, this afternoon. William Saliba to be stolen from under our noses by Tottenham Hotspur. Leave your comments below. Hit the like button. We're very, very close to 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. If you are watching via YouTube, please, please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're listening via the audio platforms as iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, etc., leave us a review and uh, we'll be back very soon with another episode. Until then, take care.